our forecast, but are you going to be at the fair? Well, considering I have to cover the noon show, I don't think <laughs> I'll be there, unfortunately. We'll be working but for you, though. Yes, <laughs> making sure we have this beautiful weather because exactly. it's fair season. Everybody uh, wants to be out and about, um, and we're we getting got the sunshine for it. I know, such a beautiful week so far, and we hope to keep it going. Check it out, folks. We do have that plentiful sunshine once again here as a lot of those fairs get going. Looking out toward the National Cathedral, you do see a little bit of that haze. It's not crystal clear blue behind the cathedral there. That is some of the look we will get this afternoon as some of that haze drops down from the north. But that's all it's going to be. We'll just see it up there in the sky. It won't bring much of an impact to us otherwise. How about these temperatures? A cool morning has turned into another warm but bearable early afternoon. We have 83 degrees in D.C. and Waldorf, 86 in Lexington Park. And we have some upper 70s then from Cumberland and Kaiser through Winchester and Hagerstown as well. And the dew points continue to stay low. Those same northerly winds that, yes, unfortunately, are bringing in some of that haze that we're noticing in the sky. Well, that's also keeping the dew points down. The humidity not going to be a factor as we go through yet another afternoon. Just a welcome gift here from Mother nature and outside of that haze in the sky. Clouds are not going to be common at all. You might see a few here and there, but generally speaking, satellite and radar picture will continue to be mainly clear thanks to the fact that high pressure is locked in. Look at how quiet it is across the entire east coast all the way back toward the Great Lakes. Now, as long as this high pressure center hangs around, these quiet conditions are going to continue. So for the rest rest of your day today going through the night tonight and into the day on Thursday. We can expect more of the same rather sunny skies, warm but comfortable conditions. Now, as we head toward the end of the week, this is when things will start to change up in terms of rain chances returning to the forecast. Once this high moves just east of us late Thursday going into Friday, we will see first a return of some mugginess to the air, that humidity, and just as that happens, clouds will start to roll back in Thursday night, going into very early on your Friday morning. Now, most of us will stay dry throughout the day on Friday. Perhaps if you're going to one of those fairs Friday night, things were looking pretty good, except out across some of our western counties. A warm front will be nudging in, and that's going to spark up isolated showers and storms across the mountains of western Maryland and West Virginia beginning on on Friday afternoon, the rainfall will then move east through the upcoming weekend. Now, as we await for that soggy weather in terms of that smoke and haze in the sky, here's what we're going to experience with our legend here. Well, this light gray indicates that yes, there is going to be at least light concentrations of that haze higher in the sky, so you'll notice it, but it's not going to drop that air quality as we go throughout the day. That's the most important thing, and some of this is going to linger around as we continue to have a northerly wind through the night tonight into the day on Thursday, but with that approaching storm system coming in, that haze won't be sticking around long. It will start to break up once we head throughout the day on Thursday, and it won't be much of a factor as we start to see that soggy weather beginning on Friday. Now, temperature wise, despite the fact that we see a rise in humidity, it won't be getting hot anytime soon. We stay in the middle to upper 80s with a small cool down as we deal with that rain Saturday and Sunday.